15 months. From the doses' point of view, these early points are important because Halep is not match sharp. Hasn't played a great deal of tennis. So Bedosa will want to get off to a fast start and get herself into a strong position. Bedosa. A little lucky. Acknowledgement down the court. Of the good fortune off the net court. First point on the ball deck for Halep. And a cheer so loud you thought you'd have won the match. how she would have felt just before this match started excitement nerves all of the above oh. it's been a shaky start though hasn't it on serve a couple of double faults either side of her winning that point you feel is very much an opportunity for Halep to gauge where she is, how far she needs to come. Of course a win would be the cherry on the cake on her return. 14. Well there you go, first ace. Well, everywhere you look around Gradstad. for Badosa. Oh. 
shifting swiftly followed by the Spanish players first double four of Halep coming into this but Bedosa really desperately needs to find some form it's not been helped by injury but confidence is understandably low right now Lovely strike. 40, 30. We spoke at the start of the match. The importance for Bedosa to get a good start against what is going to be a rusty Hallett, but it is vital that Bedosa doesn't get off to a slow start and hand Hallett an early advantage. The intensity is coming back, isn't it? With Hallop, you can hear it. And the ground strokes are getting more and more punishing. Yes. Hasn't taken long. Badosa under pressure. is beginning to increase. Halep now. What a chance. Early break is serve. Or wouldn't that be the perfect start? an absolute beauty. The dose are trying to come in. There's not quite enough depth on the approach and Halep striking the ball absolutely perfectly. And speaking of good strikes, Mr. Sitsibas as well. The vast majority of support on grandstand for this lady. Simona Halep. Looking good now to backing up the breaker serve.
Yeah, just a little short. And Bedosa fighting back. stepping into this backhand beautifully. up nicely for Bedosa who just fluffed her lines already break a serve down that's a super serve that wide excellent response after a disappointing point 14 or hoped concerns in her corner understandably lots of glum faces there worrying times this again for Paola Bedosa what has been such a tough 12 months or so really with injury just not being able to get enough time on court to build up any momentum That was swirling around. Advantage. It's one of those when this was high in the sky. 
And if Benazza didn't watch it, she could have made herself look a bit silly. But she did watch it, struck it truly. Chance to hold here, to settle herself down a bit. Distance from Hallett there, giving Badosa no room to breathe. Magnificent from Hallett yet again. Oh, what a wonder the Romanian fans and all the fans here on Grandstand are showing their appreciation. This is absolutely superb from Hallett. Wonderful movement. Well, I'll say nothing. Just listen. Right behind Hallett here. Another break point. Long. It's another couple breakers serve. Four games to one, first set. And it's the. It's a sort of match that Badosa would have been dreading facing someone like Hallett. Badosa just needs a bit of time on court, a bit of momentum up against someone that she knows is going to be well supported and has had such a hold over her in the past. Rally again going the way of Hallam. Sheer intensity right now of Hallam. The dosage just can't live with it. The double faults have just reared their head a few times. Three now. Oh. 
protecting the net cord, but not falling the right side from Bedosa's point of view. And still plenty of frowns on the faces in her corner. Twitchy, nervy affair for them. an hour. Yeah, too short. Padoso is not going to let that opportunity pass her by. Up nicely. Advantage, it has been all Halep for the last 15 20 minutes. Pedosa, though, with a chance to get herself back into contention. Responding well here. How oh, threatening to completely bulldoze Badosa in this first set. But this is an excellent fight back here. Break point number two for Badosa. Again off the net court. Yes. Frustrated. Both the player and the camp. toe to toe with Hallett because the sheer intensity that Hallett brings to the table just keeping Bedosa pinned back is having some joy though isn't she on that second serve yes. again too short but also so far in waiting for that just asking a few questions now Yeah, 
as I was saying, the double faults will be given to Hallam. Cause for concern. Oh, swatted away. By Hallop there at the net. Yes. And again, Pedosa with the chance to break doesn't take it. Another chance for Bedosa. They're coming along at regular intervals. Bedosa just hasn't taken one yet. They are willing her to take break point number four. is harboring any hope of getting back into this first set which has got to win this game particularly now having had so many chances this one slips away and you fear the set will go with it quite quickly oh that's long oh dear well it's a trudge across the court for Badosa that has been anything but up to this point. The first four games really did go by very quickly, but this... or well, five games, I beg your pardon, but this sixth game has been lengthy. Juice number eight. And again, it's too short. Bedosa just got her feet into position nicely there. Another chance to break. And yet again denied. Well, the tube's number nine now. And it's five break points that Bedosa's had. Swings Hallop's way. Advantage. Chance for her to come through. A very, very tough service game. for Bedosa to look at. He's going to attack this. It's a very good second serve. From... Well, they're both getting exposed on their second serves, aren't they? And the stats don't lie. And on the second serves of both players, 25% for Hallett, just 20% for Badosa. That is not going to help. Third double. And the danger was having lost that last game. 
that this first set could just fall away for Badosu and it's looking that way. That is a lovely backhand. Started the set with one of those. She'll be hoping she's not finishing the set with one. But there's some more winners, but the unforced errors have been much, much higher. And there's another. Oh, she sealed it in stuff. has as we start set number two is not only the fact that Halep is calling the shots here full of intensity but Bedosa has got such a wretched record against Halep as well never taken a set off her not even come close well beaten in Madrid and at Wimbledon in 2022 it's got a work cut out here that's for sure. Oh. It's just not happening for Budo, so these are critical moments. Because at the end of a disappointing set, at the start of a new set, it's an opportunity for the player that's struggling to come again, if you like. But it's at the moment in danger of becoming as you were. Hello. A chance to get off to a lightning fast start and really turn the screw. Danger here is that Badosa could just fall away. Relief for her that Halep's too long, just drifted long. Oh, it's just too good. It's going through the gears here, Hannah. 15 minutes. But Dosa at the moment is just stuck in first gear. Cannot find an answer to this. But there have been glimpses from Badosa. But they need to become a little bit more than just that.
needs to start stringing a few points together, asking a few questions. Chance to hold it for Barossa. And it's fair to say she really needs to. Didn't need that. It's a little wonder that she just looks down and then sheepishly looks up. It's tough going. For Bedosa right now. is finding such a good length that he's just Advantage. unsettling Bedosa. a little casual first time today that Halep's just been a little loose there ladies and gentlemen please try to wait for the entire point to finish before yelling out comments just so both players can focus on the point well said Thomas Sweeney fine line between supporting a player and impeding another serve out wide from Bedosa. Hello. Not sure if he can keep the balls in Miami. I know in Indian Wells, if you catch a ball, you can keep it, but that spectator you saw gave the ball back. Turn so finding that angle, but the person will take it. Dealt with that second serve and then some. Love third. Looking to get something going herself here, Padosa. Just about finding the line. 
flicking the back of the line there. Hallett, that could have been love 40 and all sorts of bother. 15, Six doubles now for Hallop. So it shows you that things are still not quite into top gear yet. But she's playing the big points really well. Great point number two for Bedosa. Second serve again, vulnerable. Can Bedosa now capitalise? Yes, she can. Two one. Fifteen. Forehand that was from Hallett. Stayed so low. Such a good break of surf from Bedosa just now. Got to back it up, mate. Sort of match, I think, before it started, both players, for differing reasons, would have fancied it, but also would have liked to have won it in straight sets. Hallett, simply because she's not had a lot of time on court lately, and Bedosa, because of her injury worries, well, Bedosa will take three sets now. Hallett would still like to try and get this done in two. So it's definitely settled down. 40, 50. Looking good now for a 3 1 lead, and certainly we feel like she can turn this around if she can hold here. Game. Oh, we fabulous. Know. Well, things were looking bleak for. Is the wind. A couple of results to bring you just a few moments ago. Taylor Townsend has beaten Lucia Bronzetti in three sets next door on Butch Buckholtz court. Oh, that's a 
beauty. That is right in the corner. And court number one. Put into a free hit of it. It's beaten Maria Lords Carly. 6 3 6 3. Herself in fight back in this second set. Good service game so far. controlled and guided from Badosa. Did everything right apart from that volley. Had I so then? 14, 15. some way to go to catch up the double faults at the moment it's more than two to one double faults to aces for Hallop mm, that's just increased three aces eight double faults now just getting a little ragged on hips, not surprised. Oh. 
Wow. 14. Oh, I said it was a two to one ratio, double faults to aces. Make that three to one. Nine double faults, three aces. Expensive on serve, Halep, right now. No, if Badosa needed to play that, but she did, and she played it well. So tricky again with the wind, it was just swirling. Looked like it was going to drift out, but Badosa took no chances. to be hit. Halep duly obliging. A good forehand, Hannah. They have a good voice, aren't they? The Romanian fans. A little quiet midway through the second set. Not anymore. Sensing Hallop could be fighting back again. What a serve. Understated celebration by comparison from Badosa. Chance to hold. In the arm, that would be. Game away. Potentially. Here, Badosa from taking this to a final set.
Fantastic. What a point for Badosa there. Not very often that Hallett has been kept behind the baseline, but she was here. And that is an absolutely glorious backhand. Oh, we read it so well. Wow. But Dyson would love to win here, wouldn't she? Take the set on the Halep serve. Serve first in the final set. Oh, tried it with the forehand, but not quite able to wrap it around. So Halep then. Another chance to close the gap. Ask the question of Bedosa. Well, maybe not yet. Bedosa, the one now growing in confidence. Yes. neutral's point of view. I'm not sure there's that many of them here on Grandstand. But wouldn't a final set be fabulous? Let's second set. figures now for Hallam on double faults. Advantage. Set point for Belosa. Final set could be on the cards. Oh, and it just stayed low. Belosa couldn't just scoop underneath that one. wide oh, the set was so so near for Bedosa and it might have to be a case for Bedosa she's got to serve it out or maybe not again she's done a fabulous read there getting behind it with the backhand guiding it down the line He'll afford any loss of discipline here, Badosa. Keeping the sun out, very wise. It's a hot day. Well, I think we knew what was coming. Either a double fault or an emphatic... Badosu return. Looking to get the job done here, Badosu. Break Halep. Serve at the start of set three. But 
but still, Halep stands firm. Advantage, Halep. <laughs> Interesting way of keeping the sun off your nose. Again, Pedosa taking charge on the second serve. Nice. Well, it is so important for Halep to find the first serve now. Just guided down the line perfectly. Yes, it gives Bedosa something to think about at the change of ends, definitely. If she can't break Halep here, having had a set point, play on her mind. Yeah. Take us to a final set. It's been brilliant. A match that Hallett came out of the block so quickly. Six games to one. Pedosa had no answers. My goodness me, this Spanish player has shown some resolve here in set two. Kept Hallett quiet for the most part. Kept the fans quiet. Going about a business very well. And she's almost. Oh. Oh dear, well. Maybe not sitting so. Oh, she finds an absolute belter. Well, oh, that's a couple of aces Halep's had hit in this opening game of the third set. They'll be pleased, the Romanian fans. Game half. 15 left. Intensity and pressure there from Halle. Fifteen on. Just keeping Hallam on her heels there with those ground strokes.
game, but those sealed with. frustration in the whole match there for Hallam. This means a lot. Coming back is one thing, but still as competitive as ever. Hallam wants to win. Serial winner as well, Hallam. But this is where it gets tough for her, having not played a lot of tennis the last 18 months. Match fitness, match sharpness, momentum as well with Bedosa. Hallett with work to do. And she's in big trouble now. Bedosa beginning. To turn the screw herself now. The early opportunities are hers. Three break points in for Badosa. Confidence. Five aces now. Such a tough first set. Things were looking bleak. Not so long ago for Bedosa. What an angle, what a point, what a match. It has been absolutely superb. Look at this from Hallop, just looped it over. He watched it and enjoyed it. Halep. 
Romanian fans ready to cheer. <laughs> well, they're both going for it now. Both playing to such a high level. Lovely. Both ultra competitive. Such a will to win and such motivation for both of them to get through this match. It is beautifully poised. Of course, Bedosa hasn't beaten Halep and when she took the second set. Bedosa, that's the first set she's taken off the remaining. So that's progress. But of course, it'll mean nothing to Bedosa if she doesn't get the job done. It's gone long. That is a careless one. Opportunity missed for Badosa there to get an important lead. Yeah, just signs a bit tentative that Halep is fading slightly here. But you never write Halep off. Never. Lovely control at the net there for Pedosa. Which Pedosa has taken. It's enough. It's lovely timing from Bedosa there as well. Halep working hard. But the Romanian beginning to feel the effects of a long time away from the game. Bedosa then a chance for a quick fire hold. which she takes. Oh, Dosa thought she'd made it. She thought she'd made that one. The turn away tells you all you need to know. That would have felt good and it would have looked good on route. Just drifting long. something oh, 
hold to love here would be. Just the ticket. It would give Halep a little boost. Send a message down the court to Bedosa that she's not done yet. It's pointing to her foot a few times in this match. In amongst everything that's gone on. Let's hope Bedosa stays injury free, regardless of the outcome of this match. And that's well controlled, but she still looks awkward. That right ankle has given her trouble in the past. Just gone long. Hello. set but that was his coach yeah just beginning to fade now Halle. it's no surprise this has been a grueling match the match she started so well but it's Bedosa Finishing the stronger. And given how the first six won, but look. 